Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another action video on this channel, and today we have episode 28 of Deep Dive, a series where I react to an artist that you guys voted for in the community tab, so look out for a future poll there. Um, after I'm done with the current artist, I will open a new one, or like close to before I'm done, right? And this time around, or this artist we're reacting to right now, uh, is Taeyong from Big Bang, and this episode is gonna be about your my slash I need to go, the music video, so uh, two songs in one, I guess, and it's a six minute video, so I'm supposedly thinking one of the two, and I'm thinking your my, um, only it's like half of the song in here, and then the full song for I need a girl, which I think is the title track for his album Solar here, which you now we had just two promotional singles we just reacted to with Where You At and Wedding Dress, both uh, kind of having the same or similar story, and like part one and part two of the story, I guess. Uh, amazing music videos, amazing songs, and also very sad, actually. So I uh, come from two episodes in a row where I'm like a little bit emotional. So I hope we have something a bit different and more upbeat here and just something to enjoy, I guess, more so than to cry over in a way. But uh, let's check it out. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to hit the like button if you want to see or like if you like my stuff and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I will also leave playlists to the Deep Dive series, to Taeyang, to Big Bang Rations, all of that in the pin comment if you want to see more. Now, a quick shout out to my Patreon lineup of September as well. Special shout out goes out to Volatile at Namie Servants and Reezy Roller. Thank you guys. Here we go. And as per usual, we're going to watch this twice. That's how Deep Dive works. And um, I'm watching it once without pausing the first time. And then afterward, the second time is with pausing. And let's watch it the first time. Here we go. And I do know, of course, G Dragon is featuring. And also, not only that, but Sandara Park. Dara. Dara is in here, which is really cool to see. Because. Even though CL is my bias, Dara is kind of my favorite in the group, which is, I don't know, a weird double thing that doesn't work, but... And he has no shirt on, right off the bat. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How sexy do you want it to be? Yes. Okay, say no more, take off your shirt and do some slow-mo body waves and uh, bite your lip while doing that and have your eyes closed as if... Okay, anyway. My sweet is chocolate, I really wanna have you. Yeah, no, I get it, Taeyang. <laughs> Fangirls love this video, I know it. <laughs> It do be pretty hot though. It's a bit cheesy, but it's still a good song. The, the ring on the finger is uh, interesting. And does he have it on the thumb on the other one? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> also, random fact. His fingers are really thick fingers. Like, really. Wow, he's feeling that. He was really into this performance too. Not just the song itself, but what we watched right now. I was really into it. <laughs> Is he spinning around on like a platform, like like Flow Rider? <laughs> okay, now we're getting into I Need a Girl. And with Dara and GD. Oh, there's Dara, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dara. I've never seen her dance in a couple dance. Pretty cool. <laughs> also, why is this the most sexy Dara I've ever seen? Holy shit. And this is, by the way, this is Rookie Dara, too. This is not even a year after the debut, or like close to a year. It's, it's definitely still kind of Rookie Dara. 
They debuted in 2009, and this is a 2010 song, so. <laughs> Sorry for pausing, by the way. I didn't notice even. Okay. I feel like I know some of the backup people here too. Dara smiled, yeah. Wow. She's sexy here, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, know what I'm talking about. Hey. <laughs> the finger gun. <laughs> okay. Is this GD? My god, he looks so young. Oh my god. <laughs> it is. Uh, okay, same. <laughs> Whose leg was that? Use him one. Okay. <laughs> He's trying his best. Oh, oh the slide. Oh, she took a scent. Smooth. Wow, she kissed him even. <laughs> no, he's done or what? <laughs> It's a cool song, man. And I really, really enjoy the dance, man. Wow. Um, I was so fascinated. I didn't even talk much after I noticed that I paused. Sorry. I really don't notice sometimes. Um, yeah, wow. Also, that music video looks really sad. Big Bang's Last Farewell. Just from the fun already, it looks really sad. Okay. I didn't know that song yet or don't know it yet. So, one day, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a bit stunned by that last by the by the second song, I Need a Girl. I like both songs a lot. They're uh, they're not necessarily that different. They're both pretty sexy and very R and B and they kind of tie into each other quite well too. But the first one of course is a bit slower, not as dance esque even in the song and in the instrumental itself, but um yeah, it's more like a ballad. Let's let's rewatch it. And also actually I want to talk about one thing before I rewatch it though, because I've seen one comment before I watched it, and I didn't know what that's supposed to mean, and I was trying to figure it out while watching, but I still can't really, um, yeah, <laughs> figure it out. So the comment is, still can't watch this with a straight face because of Dara's secret weapon. Oh, okay. The comments of, the, the answers to that comment actually explain it. So she's using a butt pad. I didn't notice that, not gonna lie. To make her booty look bigger. I didn't notice that. <clears throat> Secret weapon. <laughs> anyway, let's go again. That sounds good. Like, no cap, this sounds really good. The, like, I, I'm not gonna lie, as, as a straight man, watching this 
video though, the first, I mean, for, for Yomai, right? So the first half of this, I guess. The video for Yomai, anyway. It's a bit weird. <laughs> I feel a bit uncomfortable just saying. But if I just focus on the song, and I just kind of forget about this music video. <laughs> I actually like the song. It's a bit... It's, it, it's, for me, it, it feels like I'm entering his intimate space, you know? And I'm not supposed to be there in my head, in my head because I'm a straight man and I'm very much assuming he is as well. He's married uh, to a wife, so... Yes. <laughs> I hope so. But, uh, you know, I just... I don't know, that's why I feel uncomfortable. It's not necessarily a bad... Like, it doesn't make me hate anything of this. It's just a bit uncomfortable and the video keeps me from standing the song, if that makes sense. But if I try to ignore the, the video, I like the song itself. You're, you're my chocolate, my sweetest chocolate. Oh, it's a bit cheesy with the you're my ice cream, but also a bit cute. So, mm. it's not too bad. It's not too cheesy, but it's a bit cheesy. <laughs> And funnily enough, the thing that makes me most uncomfortable, it's not the lip bites, it's not the body waves, it's not that he's half naked. For some reason, it's just when he touches himself as well, you know, with his hand like all over his body and stuff like that. That feels a bit weird. Almost as if he's like stripping in front of my eyes. This line is a bit cheesy. <laughs> vocal is amazing though, I like the piano bass. I like how quiet the song is. Like how calm this is. He's presenting his body so much. Like he's even like popping out his chest and everything on purpose. Like come on dude. What are you doing here? Is this like a... An advertisement for your body or what and like hire me as a model dude <laughs> or like call me girls <laughs> the vocal is wild really good such a high tone yes yeah, as, as i said last time uh last two episodes last last two actually um more and more I'm getting into his songs and discography so far, the more I like it. And it, it's getting better, it feels like as well. Yeah. This era, this whole solar project, it's amazing. I hope it keeps going like this in the future. Okay, so before we rewatch this part, I just want to say what I thought about it kind of more in detail. So. I like the song in itself, it's pretty cool, but it's also, the, the instrumental for example is super super basic, it's like this mid late 2000s um, R&B beat that like Justin Timberlake for example would use a lot. It's not like bad because I, I like that type of music, but it's also like not getting me super excited, it's just kind of like existing. But his vocals are again really good, and honestly the performance itself, it's, it's not a choreo to me, this is literally a couple dance and a really well, okay, whatever, choreographed <laughs> dance. It's really, it, it's almost as if they, I don't know, how do you say this? How, almost as if they freestyle this. I don't know, it, it fits really cool, like I'm watching a live stage. A really good one. So let's look at the butt pad. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's that obvious. I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess it is kind of. I 
uh, funnily enough, I can talk about it here, I guess I have not talked about it so far, but I recently, so like a few months ago, learned about hip pads uh, in K-pop. And I don't know if they were a thing back then here, 10 years ago or 12, 11 years ago. I don't think so, but uh, they're very much a thing these days. And basically everybody's using them. So every uh, female idol, of course, uh, almost everybody. I don't want to generalize here, but a lot of them are. And it also kind of makes your hips and essentially your booty look bigger, right? Uh, but it's a bit different than what he what she uses here, I believe. How do people tell though? Like, how, how do they know? Like, are, are there like a, a lot of Dara booty analysts out there, or what? They, they just harmonize so well together, these two. Like, from facial expression to acting in itself, right? And just the, the vibe they gave off to each other. Like, it's super, super comfortable, too. Like, I'm actually insanely proud of Dara for this in particular, because you have to remember that uh, Taeyang is her somebody name, right? So, um, she literally is a rookie. And even though she is 26 here, which is pretty old for a rookie, right? And I'm, I think she's actually even older than Taeyang, so maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe that's why. And Dara is not really one that makes much of a difference between Sambi Nim and, and Hubei and stuff like that, right? I'm not sure if Hubei is actually the right name for that, but you get the point, right? Between young and older. She doesn't really make a difference there. She probably still respects Taeyang a lot because he debuted before her and is already very popular and, and uh, successful uh, and with his group together as well. But I don't think she really cares about that much. If, if there's one 21 member, it's definitely Dara that doesn't care about that. So maybe that's just why, and in particular her age itself carries this. But initially I was super surprised because she is super, super confident here. Uh, and it seems almost like she dictates this dance more than Taeyang does, which is insane to think about. <laughs> like, it feels like it's Dara and then... Taeyang on Dara's leash. It doesn't feel the opposite way, even though this is Taeyang's choreo and, and song. But then again, that's also kind of the story they want to tell, right? She is kind of the one that is in control in the story, so maybe there's some purpose too. <laughs> but no, body language wise, she's so good. I mean, Taeyang is true. <laughs> the, no, 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 not now, not yet. The the hip thrusting. <laughs> yeah, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, dude, that's a funny move. He's approaching again with his goon squad. It's kind of funny, also, how she's like looking at her friends here and. I was asking, like, what do you think of this guy? <laughs> like, please judge him for me. Like, let me know what I should do. She's, like, asking her for her opinion. I was really surprised by GD's rap. Um, I didn't know he could sound this good on an R&B track. Um, and adapt so well to it, too. Because his rap is usually pretty aggressive and piercing but he managed to do it really well i mean the production is also very much uh not to blame for that because it's a good thing but to uh to praise for that yes. I, love girls, <laughs> I love girls and i was like <laughs> you love girls too dara or what <laughs> This was uh, interesting. He's trying everything. And she's interested, but playing hard to get. <laughs> and that move got her. <laughs> That's so funny. This scene, though, she kisses him on the cheek or neck, neck or cheek. Oh, it's the neck, dude. 
kiss on the neck is actually pretty intimate, I would think. Especially for Korean culture, right? Isn't it kind of wild, actually? Props to them doing this. I'm a treat you right, baby. Ooh, Her face, though. <laughs> Her face was like... <laughs> And it's kind of funny how confident the character here uh, of Taehyung is in the story now, right? After he got her, he's like, Haha, I got her! This is cool too, how they dance together now. Like actually, actually together. Even this here. Like this, the slow jamming here. Wow, it's a very realistic dance a couple would do, especially like an older couple. I'm actually really surprised by this choreo. I'm not gonna lie, it's so point, uh, point on, on point. Yes, that's the description. And holy shit, Tiang, this live stage. And I, I'm assuming no, that's not our. Uh, with another dancer and featuring Mino, okay. But anyway, that that just caught my attention. Anyway, um, <laughs> that is Taehyung's You Are My and I Need a Girl. Two songs in one and uh, two music videos in one particularly, right? It's a very kind of like a sexy... Um, uh, what, the, what was the word? Stripper video. <laughs> the first one. Uh, very much fan service, very much so. And I feel a bit uncomfortable, but uncomfortable. But honestly, the the song is great. And then also, I need to go. Probably, I like Yo Mai a bit more than I need to go as a song. But I really, really like the performance and the dance of I need to go. Actually, one of the better couple dances I've ever seen in K-pop. And I've not seen that many, so I guess it might even be in the top three, or it might be even my favorite. Who knows? But uh, I'm usually slow with saying that stuff. Like it's my favorite ever because. More often than not, that's not true, and you just don't remember everything. So I usually don't say that. But anyway, if I'm not 100% sure, right? But anyway, that's my reaction to Deep Dive episode 28 with Tiang's You're My I Need a Girl music video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your opinion on both songs and I guess my takes on this <laughs> uh, in the comment section. And uh, see you in the next video. Uh, next Monday, every single Monday, I react to another episode of, uh, or I have another episode of Deep Dive. And again, you can check them out, the past episodes. Past reactions to Taeyang, but also to Big Bang. Um, all in the pinned comment, there's playlists, and that's it. Have a nice day. Peace.